20 weeks of the IFL season has all come down to one final game. The United Bowl is up for grabs tonight in Phoenix between the six-time national champion Arizona Rattlers and the Massachusetts Pirates seeking their first title in franchise history. You're watching the United Bowl on Stadium. Hello everyone and welcome inside the Footprint Center in Phoenix alongside the three-time Super Bowl champion Dale Hellestray. I'm Noah Reed. In the indoor game, a lot of times it can all boil down to how good's your quarterback. And Arizona feels really comfortable with their guy. Just 24 hours ago, Drew Powell was named the MVP of the league for the second time in the last three seasons. Dale, what makes him so dynamic? Well, he is dynamic. That's the thing. He can throw the ball and he can run the ball. Put so much pressure on every level of your defense. He's accurate. Once he escapes the pocket, he can really make you pay. And there's nothing more demoralizing to a defense than to play really sound defense for three downs. And then guess what? Your quarterback escapes, picks up a first down, keeps the drive alive, and Drew Powell can do that as well as anybody that I've ever watched play this game. Just because he's the MVP of the league does not mean things will be easy tonight for Powell because he's going up against the number one defense in the league in the Massachusetts Pirates over the last four weeks, holding opponents to just 19 points per game. How have they been doing it? Well, 19 points a game, that's like the 1985 Chicago Bears defense. <laughs> I mean, it's legendary when you talk about 19 points a game in the indoor football like They do it, it all starts up front. They have a dynamic defensive line who creates a lot of havoc on quarterbacks and running backs and lines, and that makes it easier to play in the back defensive backfield, and they will pressure you at every level all game long. It's the number one defense in the league against the number two offense. The IFL Game of the Week broadcasts on Stadium are all about you, the fans, and so tonight we would like to interact with you via the QR code and your first chance to vote tonight. What will be the difference maker, offense, defense, or special teams? We're going to have the fans vote at home, Dale, but I want to give you the first unofficial vote who you got. Well, I think the bigger the game, the more, more important defense plays, and so I'm going to pick defense. So you can take your phone out, get your camera app open, scan that QR code in the top left corner of your screen and vote for who you think will be the biggest difference maker, the offense, the defense, or the special teams. This is the first of many opportunities to vote via QR codes tonight, so stick with us all game long. We'll take our first break here on the pregame show. When we come back to Phoenix, we get set for kickoff tonight. It's the 2021 United Bowl between Massachusetts and Arizona, and it's coming up next on Stadium.
ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets are that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the lands of the free and the hope Let's hear it one more time for Kimberly Gunn. 2001. We'll take our final timeout here on the pregame show, and it's time for football when we return the United Bowl from Phoenix between Massachusetts and Arizona when we return. Thank you. Thank you. The best the Grand Canyon National Park just ways north of us in Phoenix, the location of the 2021 United Bowl on stadium. The Massachusetts Pirates looking for their first ever, Arizona looking for their seventh in franchise history. For the first time tonight, we head down to the sidelines and introduce you to the third member of our broadcast crew and Julie Doles. Uh, now Arizona star wide receiver Jared Harrington has been listed as questionable for this game with an injury, but I just got word from head coach Kevin Guy that he's not suiting up tonight. This will be the second big injury at the receiver position as Jeremiah Harris was injured last game against Frisco, but three wide receivers are starting their rookies tonight. I talked to the team, they said they're not worried about it. They say Kevin, Kevin Guy has created a championship culture and he really has acclimated those rookies to the indoor game. Kevin Guy was just named the 2021 IFL Coach of the Year in his 12 seasons as a head coach. This is his eighth championship appearance. That man knows how to win. The team is 7-0 at home. They have not lost the game with the footprint center yet. And they credit Kevin Guy for that winning culture. Back to you, Noah. Thank you so much, Julie. Wow, Dale, that is a massive loss being without a first-team All-League wide receiver in Jared Harrington. How does that impact today's game? Obviously, you've got to change your game plan if you're the Arizona Rattlers. You sit here 
and look at it, you are, you are used to having guys get injured and having to fight through the regular season, a lot of games, a lot of weeks. But boy, when you talk about an all-league big, big play guy, I don't know if you can do that in one week. Yeah, that's going to be very interesting for Kevin Guy and the Arizona Rattlers trying to replace Jared Harrington, a two-time all-league selection. This is Garrett Hartley. He's on to kick it away for Massachusetts. They won the toss, elected to defer, and the 2021 United Bowl is underway from the Footprint Center in Phoenix. Pearson from just inside the goal line has some space, and he stood up at the 20-yard line, and that's where Arizona begins this drive behind MVP quarterback Drew Powell in this offense. You take a look there, and obviously we've talked about Drew Powell in the open with saying that running back because he's a little bit better blocker against a really, really aggressive defensive front. You see the Massachusetts defense. Every one of those guys could have been all week. Four of them were of the eight starters, including two of the defensive backs who are absolute ball hawks in making plays. There's Drew Powell. He's the MVP of the league for the second time in the last three seasons, just announced 24 hours ago. He whips it over the middle, connects with Miles inside the 15-yard line and pushed into the boards. A fantastic start for Arizona. Well, to me, it's always interesting. Big game like this, a championship game. Emotions were running high, little scuffles before uh, they kicked the ball off, before the national anthem. Can you keep your emotions in check? Can you do your job? The team that does that uh, better earlier is going to have more success. Kevin Guy's team has been here a lot. Six championships in franchise history. He's led the Rattlers to the title game in eight of the last ten years. How much does that experience matter in a game like this? Well, it matters if you've had success. <laughs> yeah, because I've talked about the, the Ryder Cup team. I want some new guys because guess what? We've been losing. Here's a throw to the end zone, tipped away and intercepted. Santos Ramirez comes away with it off the deflection and Massachusetts with a massive play on the goal line. Ball looked to be a little bit underthrown. You just got through talking about the defensive backs. Ball Hawks get the ball, tipped it up in the air. Nice job by Ramirez coming over and catching the tip ball. An even better job really by Maxi Penton, who knocked the ball in the air, gave his teammate a chance to come over, and you talk about a big momentum swing, here it is. Well, Maxi Penton, he wasn't the one with the interception, he had the deflection there, but he's had three interceptions in the last five games, and now it's our first opportunity to see Benefield in this offense. Looks for Owens, and it goes right through his hands, incomplete as he was looking for the second leading receiver in the IFL. Well, he gets up a little bit slow. You know there's going to be a lot of physicality here early in this football game. Both, both squads want to impose their will. Alejandro Benefield, the starting quarterback for Massachusetts, but those guys that he has at wide receivers are playmakers. Gonzalez, Owens, and Carrington, they really help him carry the workload. Two all-league offensive linemen in that bunch of three as well. Benefield, nice pass. He's got a first down to Gonzalez and a pickup of 12 yards. Both these teams take a lot of pride in the aggressiveness and skill level of their defensive line. That usually makes it easier to play defensive back in this league. When you have this much time to throw the football and you got a quarterback with the talent level of Benefield, he will pick you apart. Had just four completions last week, did Benefield but it came in a 21-point win in the semifinals. This is the first time he carries the ball, and he lunges forward to the 21-yard line for four yards on first down. Nice job here early, keeping the Rattlers off balance, not allowing them to come after your quarterback. Coach Kevin Guy has a say, and it's pressure pick, coverage sack. And so right now, they're not, none of that is going on because he is getting time to throw the football. You mix the run in there. Keep everybody honest. Yeah, Jordan McRae and Jared Thomas, two guys that were named to the all-league team last week for this Massachusetts offensive line, and they are protecting Benefield early. Second down and six from just outside midfield. Benefield wants it all. Gonzalez overshoots him incomplete. 
That's a guy in Laquiviante Gonzalez. He's already had a couple targets early in this Number game, seven, Dale, but Tyrell they Pierce love him in the kick return game, one of the best in the entire league. And they said, hey, football is all about hidden yards, and that guy lets us start almost every drive from midfield because of what he does in special teams. That's the thing I've always found out is the bigger the game, the more important special teams are. And I promise you tonight, there'll be a return, there'll be a field goal, there'll be an extra point that will turn the tide in this football game. Second best third down defense is Arizona this season. Third and six, Benefield with time. There's a collision and a flag comes in. Pass interference against Tyrell Pearson will move the chains for Massachusetts on the third down. Simple crossing route, looked like he was gonna come open. Wait for the call. Prior to the pass, holding, defense, number seven. 10 yard penalty, automatic. First down. You can see right here in your living room, crossing the field. Sometimes it's better to take a holding call than it is to give up a touchdown. And if you feel you're going to get beat, grab the receiver. Make sure he doesn't get into the end zone. A lot of targets already for Gonzalez in this opening drive from the second-year quarterback, Alejandro Benefield. Ball at the 19 here. First touch for Stockton, the running back. Plows his way forward, and he's upended down at the 12-yard line. Seven yards on the opening carry for Justin Stockton. 5'10", 200 pounds, just kind of weaving his way behind that big offensive line. Can't even see him. I mean, McCray goes 336. You got 300, 305, and then a 200-pounder, only 5'10". Takes you a while to spot where he is. He had a massive game last week in the semis, Dale, against the number one rushing defense in Frisco. He averaged eight yards a carry and ran for over 100 yards. And now he sets up a second down and three here for the Pirates on their opening offensive possession. Benefield, pocket collapsing, throws it out of play. Bones Bagante, the offensive coordinator, told you and I this week, he said, we just need Alejandro to have a Benefield kind of game. And we said, well, what's that mean? And he said, make smart decisions. When he needs to throw it away, throw it away. And you're seeing that early. Very nice decision right there. Had a lot of time to throw, throw the football down the field. Remember, the closer you get to the end zone, the easier it is to play defensive back because they can't run by you. There's nowhere to go. Kevin Guy's defense looking for a stop here on third down and three. Here in the United Bowl, two best teams all season long. Quick pass, it's caught inside the five yard line. Dantes Bird, the newest addition amongst that wide receiver core, moves the sticks and sets up Massachusetts in the red zone. Really nice patience again, starts with great protection, goes up high, gets the football, pretty good coverage by Dylan Winfrey. I mean, he led the league and passes defense. Stockton bounces to the edge, to the goal line, and he's in. Massachusetts strikes first on the opening drive, and the Pirates lead the United Bowl early. Well, if you're Massachusetts, you get on that plane and in Boston to fly out here and you say, huh, what's the dream scenario to open up this football game? Hey, how about a turnover? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and kick the ball to them. We'll, the defense will get a turnover and then our offense will drive the ball the length of the field and come away with a touchdown. Could not start any better a, for the Pirates. Yeah, perfect script for Massachusetts here in the first few minutes of this first quarter and now it's Garrett Hartley on to attempt the point after. Good snap, good hold. And the kick is good. 7-0 Massachusetts. The interception leads to a touchdown. Justin Stockton from three yards out pushes it in for the Pirates. We'd like to welcome our partner in today's team presenter, Foothill Sports Medicine Physical Therapy. Today's hot pullback. pack.
welcome you back inside the Footprint Center here in Phoenix. A 7-0 start for Massachusetts. An interception on the opening drive of the game at the goal line. Dale, they march it down the field, get a rushing touchdown from Justin Stockton, and now it's Arizona's time to respond. Well, it is their time to respond, but going back to the, that last drive, what a nice plan coming in. Mix a couple runs in there, keep that defense honest. Great time to throw the football. That offensive line living up to everything that we've heard. And you come away with seven points. That is the way to start this championship football game. Yeah, an eight-play drive for Massachusetts after the turnover. Five passes, three runs, capped off by a Justin Stockton rushing touchdown. And the Pirates, who have won the last 10 games, they haven't lost in the last three months, are looking for the all-important number 11. Here's Miles on the short kickoff return, and he stumbles down to the 22-yard line. Good field position. You know, you, re, you wonder how is Drew Powell in this offense going to respond to adversity? And they, they, just like the Pirates, the Rattlers have been played a lot of playoff games, in Coach Kevin Guy's words, because they wanted that top seed, so this game would be played here. So in his mind, they've played a lot of playoff games coming down the stretch. How they respond to adversity will be interesting. Well, they, they've won seven in a row since their last loss, and that loss was actually this Massachusetts team. And Kevin Guy said, ever since that loss, we have gone into every game telling our guys it's a playoff game. And before the snap, there's a flag. And of course, each team is pointing in the opposite direction. <laughs> yeah, did Lamar Mady flinch? Remember, when you're 300 pounds, even a little flinch can be seen by <laughs> 15,000 people. The snap, false start, offense, number 94. Five yard penalty, still first down. Well, you nailed that on the head. That was Lamar Mady who gets called for the false start and backs up this starting spot for Arizona to the 17 yard line. And I don't think you're really concerned about that. Uh, obviously, you want to be sharp here early in this football game. You got adrenaline going. I talked about that. There's a lot of John going on in pregame. And let's see who can settle in and play football the quickest. Six and a half minutes to play. Seven nothing lead. It's Miles out of the backfield. They like to get the wide receiver involved in the ground game, but there's nothing going that time around. Really nice job by Downey, 6'4", 225 pounds. Can rush the passer, obviously can play the run. You see 225 pounds, like, boy, he can't stay in there against the run. Did a really nice job coming down the line and making the tackle. He's had a couple big games for Massachusetts this year. Second down, quick slant route, looking for Pelletier. And it's broken up by Max Teen Yards on third and 18 to set up fourth and short. They gain enough yards so uh, you don't have to try a field goal and go to board on fourth down. Get back to the crowd. Uh, this franchise led by Ron Schurz has uh, done everything first class. It's a gorgeous arena, a uh, successful team. All those things go into this crowd being as loud and as big as it is. Here's Benefield, hesitates, has the first down, upended by Winfrey, who makes back-to-back -back tackles, but not until eight yards and a first down from the quarterback. Boy, it's just so hard to defend a mobile quarterback in this game. It looks like he's going to hand off. You got numbers, but you know what? You don't have that extra guy to take the quarterback, and Benefield not afraid to lower his shoulder and uh, pick up an extra yard or two. Under six minutes to play here before halftime, a low scoring defensive battle, much the like that Massachusetts wanted. Frisco scored 22 against them last week in the semis, and that was the most a team had scored on him in over a month. Benefield standing in the pocket, now suffocates down on him late, throws on the run, and the smart play is to get rid of the football. <laughs> I see one here, Nick Devonzo, the defensive end, just screaming at the official. I've never met a defensive lineman who doesn't think he's held on every play. <laughs> if, if he doesn't get a sack or make the tackle, it's because he got hold, held. And uh, boy, he was 
yelling and screaming. Nice job getting rid of the football there by Benefield. Remember, you get closer to the goal line, the field shrinks. You can't run by defensive backs so they can sit on routes, and that's when interceptions can happen. Benefield's already thrown two of them today, both to Dylan Winfrey, who has a league-leading 14 interceptions this season. Second and 10, fake the handoff to Bird, floats it to Owens, who scores a touchdown. 27th on the season for Thomas Owens to put Massachusetts up 13 to six. What a nice play fake. You fake the fly sweep to the right. You get the linebackers to take a step or two to their left. You got a pattern coming in right behind and going the opposite way. Really difficult to defend. Nice route concept, nice play concept, and then great execution. Second in the IFL in touchdown receptions is Thomas Owens with 27. And now Hartley, who's one for one on point after tries today, makes it two for two. And then some extracurriculars after the kick. It's chippy for the United Bowl. 14 to six. Benefield to Owens. Pirates up in the second. The punt continues out. A scorpion here in the desert in Arizona. The Rattlers down by eight against the Massachusetts Pirates in the 2021 United Bowl Championship here from Phoenix. The Rattlers here at home trying to come from behind as the number one overall seed against number two Massachusetts. And Garrett Hartley kicks it away. Here's Pearson from inside the goal line. Makes a move to the outside. He's got some space. Pearson across midfield and goes tumbling down at the 17-yard line, but there is a flag. We talked about special teams. Great return. Looked like it was going to be a disaster for the ball bouncing around, but there's a flag that looks like it might be offside on the kicking team and then definitely holding on the return team. Do you kick it over? little discussion here for the officials before they figure out what is more than likely one penalty on each side. There are fouls against both teams. Offside, kicky team, number 14. During the return, holding, receiving team number 21. The fouls will offset and we will re-kick. Well, the team that gets the worst end of that penalty is Arizona after a great return from Tyrell Pearson that would have set them up in Massachusetts territory to start the drive. And instead, we re-kick. Well, I'm going to argue with you there on that, Noah, because guess what? That was a great return, but if it was just holding well, on Arizona, yeah. uh, the, a lot of that return is negated. I think they're, they're, ha they're happy they're with the right re-kick. I think right. they're happy with the re-kick. Now, before, before we go on, I need to get you were out here, what, six, two months ago, something like that, and I told you, oh, it's no. not all here, cactus. Here we go. It's not all tumbleweeds. I, it's not all dirt. <laughs> and you got I, up, you got to see Prescott, yeah. and he, we maybe 
I, I, saw, I saw the Grand Canyon. Okay, so yeah, you saw I, trees. Yeah, I, I saw some. I knew that was going to come up. Yeah. I, knew, I, knew, I knew the first moment I said the word <laughs> desert that, yeah. you, that you would call me out for saying, hey, it's not all the desert. I knew it. I knew it was coming. And then a stinking scorpion for the rejoin? <laughs> Hey, that's not me. Wow. I, I, I didn't choose to show that. I'm just saying what's there. You guys from the Dakotas. <laughs> Here's a return from the 10. Great space for Miles. And again, Arizona will start in Massachusetts territory at the 21 yard line after the tackle is made by Santos Ramirez. Still pretty good. Field position. You can tell that the Pirates have a lot of respect for the Rattlers' return game by the way they're kicking off. But what it's allowing the Rattlers to do is the up man to grab it and gain 10, 15 yards before he can be tackled. Yeah, and that's Jamal Miles, who's already had a massive impact offensively. Four catches for 39 yards. Powell threw an interception his last drive. He keeps it this time. With the feet, picks up the first down, and Ramirez brings him down with a shoestring tackle at the six yard line. 15 yards on the opening play for the leader in the IFL in rushing yards this season, Drew Powell. And this was just a designated run. Take the snap, hesitate a split second, find a hole and run through it. Really nice job. The one thing you know won't happen is if you run the ball, you're not going to throw an interception. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I, I'm really fascinated to see how Kevin Guy approaches his play calling here down inside the five yard line, six yard line. Yeah, first and goal here for Arizona after the 15 yard run from the quarterback. Here's Haley off the sweep, and he gets twisted down right at the five yard line by Martrell Spate, the linebacker. Boy, he has great closing speed. 6'1, 235 pounds. I mean, Spate came out of nowhere. Lyman can't get up to him. He's kind of unblocked there. And the way he torpedoed, torpedoed his way through both lines of scrimmage to make the tackle, tremendous play. Martrell Spate actually retired in 2019 from football, came back this year, and it looks like he's got a lot of football left to play. Um, as their coaching staff told you, he has to play well for this defense to have success. Uh, Ray Sean Kaiser, the defensive coordinator, called him the most important player for us this week. Powell tries to follow a block, but has nowhere to go, and he's wrapped up again by Spate, who makes back-to-back -back plays. Boy, I wish I could weigh 225 pounds and look like that. He <laughs> looks like he weighs about 190. But my goodness, watch the closing speed here. You got a double team can't get off to the linebacker, and Spate comes from the backside, makes the tackle for no gain. and get the car buying experience you deserve with Jermaine Cars. Buy online with home delivery if that's your style or visit our showrooms to speak with expert associates. However you want to buy your next car, Jermaine Cars is here for you. 14 to six, the lead for Massachusetts over Arizona with 136 to play in the first half, but the Rattlers are driving with the football at the five yard line. And you said you were interested to see how Kevin Guy called plays here in the red zone. Two running plays in a row that have both gone for no gain. Great aggressive defense from the Pirates. We've talked about it all the whole first half, that defensive line, kind of the key to how this defense is gonna roll. But with, with Powell throwing a couple of interceptions, do you wanna put it in the air here? He's almost gonna have to the way the Pirates are being so aggressive. He will look to throw here on third down and goal. Escapes from Spate, now takes off. Thought about throwing, then loses the football near the two yard line. That had all kind of wow. <laughs> crazy theatrics on that play. Well, Spate came running through early and that's what 
precipitated all the running around and I guess they're going to mark it at the one yard line. Somehow he evades the tackle of Spate. Acts like he's going to throw the ball. <laughs> if you've got people looking all around, Maxie Penton thought he threw the ball. He actually didn't. Then the ball goes over the dasher board to one yard line. That play had everything on your football bingo chart. Nearly a sack, then thought about throwing it after running, then fumbling it out of bounds. And now the coach of the year and the MVP are trying to draw something up here at the one minute warning. One minute to play before halftime, Arizona down a possession in the United Bowl. Fourth and goal from the one yard line with one minute to play before halftime. Arizona with a chance to score. And if they go for two, chance to tie it up here before the break. Powell keeps, bulldozes forward, spins away from one, and he's over the goal line. How about the fight from Drew Powell? Initially looked like he was stopped, almost looked like he was going backwards off at the line. Continued to drive their legs. Watch right there, hit the one yard line, more white jerseys, and then the offensive line, which is a rule change of recent memory. You can actually help the runner go forward. So he took shots from the front and from the back from their team and our team. The 37th rushing touchdown this season for Drew Powell, the most ever by a quarterback in IFL history. And that was a big one. And he and the offense will stay on the field for a chance to tie the game with under a minute to play before halftime. Two point conversion, Lassane. Trick play. Oh, the Philly special, and it works. <laughs> the rushing touchdown for Drew Powell, and then the trickery for the two-point conversion to tie this game up. It's a good thing, a really good thing. There was nobody over there. That ball hung up forever. Whether in-store, at home, or online, Germain Cars is here for you anytime. Discover our Germain to You program and research your next car, truck, or SUV on GermainCars.com. From product demos to vehicle delivery, Germain to You allows you to shop at your own pace in your own space. Start your journey at GermainCars.com today with buying tips and pricing insights on nearly 5,000 vehicles in stock. Germain Cars. Look at the trickeration on the two-point conversion. Lassane to Haley, and then a floated pass to the quarterback, Drew Powell, and we are tied at 14 apiece here inside the snake pit with 55 seconds to go before halftime. Yeah, I don't think many people are going to get him confused with Patrick Mahomes <laughs> and the zip on the ball. Well, the ball hung up there, but it's a good thing that that fake worked so well for the rally. Today is the opening day of the NFL, so Patrick Mahomes in action right now as we speak, but you're much better if you're right here with us on Stadium watching the IFL United Bowl, that's for sure. 
Lacayo kicks it off. Here's Gonzalez, one of the best return mans in the league. He has a seam across midfield, and he fumbled the football. Massachusetts said they got back on it with Gonzalez. They're still scrambling for the football, and now the officials say the Pirates did indeed get back on the football. That ball can change hands two, three, four times underneath the pile. But when there's two white jerseys of the last two to get up, nice job protecting your, your friend. Nearly our fifth turnover of the game. That was Timmy Hernandez, the wide receiver who was just added to the active roster this week, who made the strip, but then they couldn't fall on the football. And Massachusetts has it starting at the 17. And this is exactly what the coaching staff was telling us, Dale, the hidden yards in the game of football. With Gonzalez in the return game, they start near midfield or better on just about every drive. Interesting here, 45 seconds left. Remember, in the Indoor Football League, the clock runs until that one minute warning, but there's no timeouts here. Benefield slices his way back up the middle and he's spun down after a two yard pickup. No timeouts left for the Pirates. And obviously what you want to do, you want to score a touchdown, but you want to score a touchdown with no time left on the clock <laughs> so that the Rattlers don't have an opportunity. Yeah, this Rattlers offense has shown all season long, they don't need a whole lot of time to score. Massachusetts with no timeouts left are letting this clock wind down below 15 yeah. seconds and they don't seem to be in any hurry. And now they're not lined up correctly either. And Only seven to play. This is unbelievable. Benefield in zone to Owens who goes crashing over the boards. Oh, 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 oh. Coverage by Tyrell Pearson and there's one second left for one final play before the break. Well, it's almost like Benefield wasn't sure where they were in the game. I can tell you what, the clock operator, Kevin Guy's not going to be real happy with him because he could have just as easily let that last second run off. You're playing at home, you want a little home cooking, make the officials put the one second back on the clock. So instead, the kicking unit comes on with Garrett Hartley. He had the NFL record for most made field goals to start a career 16 in a row with the Saints back in the late 2000s. And Kevin Guy goes sprinting onto the field to call a timeout to try to ice Hartley. Today's United Bowl on Stadium is brought to you by Campbell Travel, the official travel agency of the Indoor Football League. Jermaine Cars, the right car, the right price, the right way. And Parker University in pursuit of higher health. Thank you so much to Parker University, Jermaine Cars, and Campbell Travel as the sponsors of the 2021 United Bowl. Garrett Hartley spent a few seasons in the NFL with the New Orleans Saints. And just before last week's semifinal game was added to the active roster when Josh Gable, who has had two game-winning field goals this season for the Pirates as time expired, went down with an injury. And Kevin Guy wants one more timeout. Well, what's <laughs> It's always interesting when they go ahead and kick the ball. I think he missed that field goal. He did, it looked like. And now you're going to second guess yourself. Should I call the timeout? I've always been against, I say once the center puts his ball, his hands on the ball, you should not be able to call timeout any longer. But they haven't changed that rule yet. So everybody has to roll with it. Can't do anything with the timeout. So can't take him into the locker room and use him there. See if he can regroup and now you don't know as you're getting ready to approach the ball whether it's a real kick or if there's been a timeout called. Remember, it is loud <laughs> here at the Footprint Arena. Yes, it is. Packed house here in Phoenix. Garrett Hartley with a chance to give Massachusetts the lead going into the locker room. From 30 yards out, he got it to hug inside the right upright to end the first half. 
Garrett Hartley connects from 30 yards out, so he's two for two on extra points, and now a perfect one of one on field goals to take a 17 to 14 lead for the Pirates. Very defensive-minded first half here, Dale. I think we knew that coming in, and I think the one thing we did not expect was the mistakes offensively from a couple really, really good quarterbacks. Did not expect those mistakes, but when you're playing good defense, as I told you in championship games, I've always felt defense can win you a championship. So a 17-14 lead for Massachusetts with a field goal going through right as time expires before halftime. Just waiting on Julie Doles down the sidelines to grab one of the coaches on the Massachusetts sideline. Here before we go to halftime. Well, it was all Massachusetts to start. A turnover on the opening drive. They turned that into seven. Forced two Arizona turnovers in the first half, but the Rattlers have fought their way back and down just three after Garrett Hartley connected on a field goal at the end of the second quarter. Let's send it down to the sideline now with Julie Doles. How do you feel like your team is responding to the atmosphere of this arena? We actually not responding too bad. Uh, we came out a little strong, and then offense got got stopped two drives in a row. Um, defense playing great. All right, we got two stops, making it making it hard for them to score. Uh, we just got to come out and play better. We got the ball coming out of halftime, so that's just a big drive coming out. We got to score. Definitely. Now it's a tough defensive battle, as you said. What does offense have to do to get on top? Joe just can't make bad decisions on first down. He, he's trying to force the ball in a, a man help coverage back there with two defenders back there. He can't do that. Got to make smarter decisions and just take care of the football. Now you're 30 minutes away from a championship. What do you tell your team at half to get them going? Just keep our composure. Make sure we score coming out. Just a big drive coming out of halftime. We have to score. Um, pretty much take care of the football. Make sure we take our time to get down there. And we got to score. All right, thank you. Good luck in the second half. Back to you, Noah. Thank you, Julie. That was Ray Sean Kaiser, the defensive coordinator for Massachusetts. His Thanks. team holding one of the best offenses in the league to just 14 first half points. We'll send it to break and take you through the halftime show when we come back. Some trickery for Arizona in the first half. The Philly special tied the game up at that point.
time at the 2021 United Bowl on Stadium. 17 to 14, the lead for the Massachusetts Pirates on top of the Arizona Rattlers. And here is CNC Music Factory, the halftime show here in the Footprint Center. In the club, we'll dance the rap for ashes. Come on, get with it. That's it. Throw your hands in the air, scream, go, go, go. Rock and roll, but roll slowly. Yo, it wasn't nothing but two for new. Four break the door, we get warm with this form. Back again, tear it up and transform. Beat me, change the boat, get leap. As the liberals on the TV screen, the BC with the Beatles with the Jackson 5. That's CNC Music Factory. They're performing the halftime show here in Phoenix, and now it's our opportunity to vote for the second time today via the QR code. What was the play of the first half here between the Pirates and the Arizona Rattlers? We saw a lot of defense in that first half, Dale. And on the very first drive of the game, there's the interception, the tip for Maxi Penton, the interception for Ramirez. And here is the second play that you can vote on. It is the two-point conversion on the Philly Special. Well, what would your vote be? My vote, my vote would be the interception. Obviously, uh, for trickeration and excitement, the two-point conversion would stand out. But as far as impact on the game so far, the interception. We're hoping to interact with you, the fans at home. So get your phones out, the camera app open, and make sure you scan that QR code in the top left corner of your screen. You can vote for the play of the first half. Maxi Penton, the deflection. Ramirez, the interception on the first drive of the game for the Massachusetts defense. And then later on in the game, the two-point conversion try for Arizona, in which that tied the game at that point before Garrett Hartley kicked a field goal to end the first half. Those are the two plays you can vote on for play of the first half via the QR code. We'll take a break here at halftime. When we come back, Julie was able to catch up with Commissioner Todd Tryon earlier today. Hi, I'm Michael Kim from our stadium studios. It's halftime at the United Bowl and the grand finale of the IFL season. So as the indoor football season is wrapping up, the outdoor season is just ramping up and stadium is your home for both high school and college football. This Friday night, Utah showcases two of its finest as nationally ranked Corner Canyon takes on rival American Fork. 
Coverage begins at 9 p.m. Eastern. See the nation's top recruits all season long. And on Saturdays, you can catch both Mountain West and Conference USA action. Here is a look at our September games. That does it from our stadium studios. I'm Michael Kim. A reminder to go over to Twitter. Check out at stadium. That's where you can vote for your fan of the game. And keep those phones and cameras ready for more QR codes. Back out to Arizona and the United Bowl halftime festivities right after this. Time for the 2021 United Bowl in Phoenix, Arizona. The gorgeous Horseshoe Bend located in northern Arizona on the east rim of the Grand Canyon just outside of Page, Arizona. Here in Phoenix, though, we've got a great football game going on for the IFL Championship between Massachusetts and Arizona. The Pirates with a three-point halftime lead thanks to a Garrett Hartley field goal as time expired before halftime to give Massachusetts the three-point lead over Arizona. Earlier today, our own Julie Doles was able to catch up with IFL Commissioner Todd Tryon. Thanks, Noah. I'm here with IFL Commissioner Todd Tryon. Todd, thanks for joining me. Now, you have the unique distinction of having been a player, a coach, an owner, and now the commissioner. How much growth have you seen in the league over these past 13 years? You know, exponential growth is, is what we've seen. And I think with, with anything, as we uh, are wrapping up our 13th season, you know, each year the goal is to get a little bit better. And, and back in 2001 when I was a player and, and uh, we had the United Bowl, I mean, it, it's we've come a long ways. When we look at yesterday's uh, press conference uh, to today's presentation, uh, we, we, we've come a long ways. Absolutely. Now this year the league has added some high profile players and coaches. How has that boosted the league as well this season? Well, I think your product's only as good as your people. And it starts with the ownership groups. We've added some great ownership groups at the top, and they've done a great job of securing the top coaches in the industry. And, and you know, the coaches, they, they bring the players. And so, you know, it, it's, it's a, a full spectrum when it comes to, you know, what the product looks like. Now, the product is expanding next year. We're adding new teams to the IFL. Can you speak on what the landscape of the league is going to look like in 2022? Yeah, you bet. We, uh, we are expanding. We are a national footprint, and our league is growing. You know, we, we're a destination league where people want to be a part of it, whether it's ownership groups, coaches, or, or players. And we will be divided in two conferences this next year, which, which will make things fun and, and, and challenging also. But, uh, you know, as our league continues to evolve, 
Uh, we eventually will get into to, to four divisions, uh, but next year we'll be operating uh, under two conferences. It'll be split between the, the Midwest and, and the West, and uh, it, it, 2022 is, is shaping up to be uh, something special already. Yeah, I'm excited to see it. Now, this has really been a hard year with COVID. How did the league manage to make it to the other side without a single game cancellation due to COVID? Well, many uh, don't know, but we almost didn't make it. Uh, you know, we, we put together a very strict, it was about a 30 page COVID protocol uh, manual that all teams had to abide by. We had strict testing, uh, especially as we started off camp. Every team, because they sat, you know, in, in their own demographic with their own set of rules, uh, they, they, they put together their own COVID bubble so to speak, and uh, you know our, our season kickoff between Bismarck and Green Bay almost didn't happen as we had a COVID outbreak up there uh, in, in Bismarck, and they showed up with only 19 players, uh, healthy players because of it. And uh, you know we had some early issues, but uh, as the season progressed, um, it seems like either everybody had had kind of already gotten it. Um, you know, or, or you know, the protocols that each team put in place was working. Absolutely, that's great. Now, tonight's matchup is between an old established team and a team that's new to the league. What has the league done that makes both new and old teams successful? Well, I think our on the field rule set uh, is a great equalizer. Uh, when you're able to bring a, a new team over in, in Massachusetts, I mean, they're surely not an expansion team. They had an infrastructure in place. Uh, they came over with a, a large roster already, uh, some very talented players but you know at the end of the day you still got to step on that field and you got to play by our set of rules and we got an exciting rule set and it's going to be an exciting game. Yeah, I can't wait. Well, thanks for joining me Todd. This is the United Bowl on Stadium. Here's another chance to vote for your play of the first half with the QR code. An incredible tip by Maxi Penton. Santos Ramirez comes in and makes the interception. That's play one. Play number two is Arizona's own rendition of the Philly special on the two-point conversion with the pass from Braxton Haley, the catch from the quarterback Drew Powell. So make sure you scan that QR code. It's a chance to vote here in the play of the half. We'll be back after this.
It's halftime from the Snake Pit as we're just about to start the second half between Massachusetts and Arizona in the United Bowl. Julie Doles is down on the sideline with Arizona's Kevin Guy. I'm here with Kevin Guy. A lot of your players have been here before. How do you feel as though they're responding to the first half? Well, we just got to execute better on offense. We turn the ball over. Our defense has got some stops for us, and it's really going to come down to who's the best team on this day. we got to play a 60-minute game. Huge crowd tonight, electric audience. How much energy do you gain from an audience like this? Well, they're certainly a big help. They've helped us create a home field advantage, so we, we're certainly appreciative of them. Thank you. Good luck in the second half. Back to you guys. Thank you, Julie. Thank you to Arizona head coach Kevin Guy for spending a few moments there with Julie. His team down by a field goal right now, but if you would have gauged how this game was going to go over the course of the first five or ten minutes of that game, being down by three is Arizona probably being in a pretty decent spot right now. You, you take a look at it, and I think that you're thankful if you're a Rattler fan that it is a three-point ball game, the way it started. But that's what championship teams do. They find a way to fight through adversity. Both these teams have had to do it down the stretch when they're uh, trying to win every game to get that home field advantage. And now you sit there at halftime, you tell your squads, there's 30 minutes. There's 30 minutes left in this season. You're tired, you're banged up. Well, you fought through a lot of things throughout, throughout the entire year. You got 30 minutes to win a championship. By far the best two teams all season long. Massachusetts has won 10 in a row. Arizona has won seven in a row. One of those streaks comes to an end here in the United Bowl. Gonzalez trapped up at the 13-yard line. Great kickoff coverage from Arizona against one of the best kickoff return men in the league. Well, they changed it up a little bit. They've been kind of squibbing it, keeping it low, bad bounce. That time they tried to kick it as high as they could. Nice job running under it, making a tackle, and uh, probably the worst starting position after a kickoff uh, this game. Yeah, Massachusetts has started near midfield or even better almost every time off of a kickoff today so far. But now Alejandro Benefield in this Pirates offense with a three-point lead gets the first possession of the third quarter. Benefield's thrown for 55 in the first half. He gives off to Stockton, and Devonzo makes the tackle after a one-yard gain. Well, I was watching a little bit of the Arizona Cardinals game before I came over here to the footprint arena, and right there, Nick, Devonzo looked a lot like J.J. Watt coming down the line, a little explosion, making the tackle. Really nice job from his backside defensive end position, fighting through some blocks. That's the fifth tackle of the game for Devonzo, a first-team all-league selection. And they've done a nice job bottling up Stockton, who averaged almost eight yards a carry last week in the semifinal win. He's rushing for less than three per carry today. Second and nine for Benefield. Quick toss. Owens' third catch of the game, and he stumbles down on his own to the 23-yard line in a pickup of 13 yards. I think he saw the end zone and <laughs> nobody between him and there, and he got his legs got a little bit ahead of him. Nobody there as Winfrey comes up, takes a bad angle, and I tell you what, you get one or two more steps from Owens, and he's gone. Owens second in the league this season in catches yards and touchdowns, has just three catches today. Massachusetts in Arizona territory. Third play of the drive. Benefield, quick toss near sideline, and he finds Dantes Bird at the 18-yard line for six yards. 14, He's getting rid of the ball really quickly this second or this second half. Well, he is, and, they, and they're they're running shorter routes. They want the ball to go in. Plus, they want to put some drives together. That's one thing you you usually see a ton of big plays in the indoor football league, a handful at least. But these teams are methodically trying to drive the ball down the field. Massachusetts wants this to be as slow paced as possible. Gonzalez hops back from one tackle, hits near the marker, and he got planted at the 15 yard line. Dylan Winfrey, the defensive player of the year in the IFL with a hit stick. Well, I think there were eight dark jerseys running toward the football. I think they all had a shot at him. And Winfrey, all five foot eight of them, 185 pounds. Nice sure tackle. Brings up third down and short. Wilder. Under 12 minutes to play in the third quarter. 
Third down and short. Massachusetts has been good on third down today. Benefield, nice connection with Owens again for a first down. There is a flag near where that ball was caught. And I think they might get rookie Wyatt Jr., the linebacker for the Rattlers. Illegal defense, defense, number 43. Linebacker not stationary in his stance. Five yard penalty results in a first down. And for those of you that are not familiar with the indoor football league, as a defender, uh, your defensive line have to have their hands on the ground when the ball snapped and your linebacker has to be off the football, not coming forward when the ball was snapped. It looked like Reed White got a little ahead of him from yeah. south there. Yeah, it was not stationary there at the snap. First and goal now from the 10 for Benefield in this offense, trying to add on to a three-point lead here early in the third quarter. Benefield fakes, now goes deep to Owens and throws it out of play. Good coverage downfield again and by Dylan Winfrey. Finally got a little pressure on Benefield there. Boogie Roberts, the big, big nose tackle, 6'1", 300 pounds, working against Jordan McCray. Able to get in Benefield's face, make that ball come out a little bit quicker than the Pirates wanted to. That snapped a stretch in which he had five straight completions, Dale. They finally got some pressure on him and it paid off. Yes, it does. They, again, that's what the Rattlers are going to preach. The, the, the pressure on the quarterback will lead to interceptions. Gonzalez off a quick toss. Devonzo makes the tackle from behind his third tackle of this drive, and it's a three-yard pickup. It's hard to believe that Nick Devonzo is 6'3", 290 pounds, the way he glides and moves down the line. You can see why he's an all-league selection. He's, he spent the 2017 season with the Minnesota Vikings, so he's had some NFL experience, and he's been one of the best linemen in this league since he joined a couple seasons ago. Third down and goal from the seven yard line. Arizona trying to get a big stop on the opening possession of this third quarter. Benefield off his back foot looking for Owens. It's incomplete, but a flag. DJ Williams was the one in coverage for Arizona. Look, like they might get DJ Williams for holding. Look like there's some contact from both sides there. Holding. Defense, number four. Half the distance of the goal. Automatic first down. That is a killer for this Arizona defense. They had third and goal from the seven yard line. But a holding here on Williams makes it a first down. I see right there in the middle of your screen, grabbing the hand and yanking it down. The official deemed that holding. So now first and goal with the ball inside the five yard line. Here's a toss, nowhere to go for Stockton and he's swarmed by the defense. Devin Cockrell finishes the play. Devonzo will not get credit for that tackle, but without him, that's probably a touchdown. The defensive end. Gets outside, slows him down, gives his teammates a chance to get over there and makes the tackle. Just a really heads up hustle play by Nick, Nick DeBonzo. So what could have been a touchdown results in a two yard loss for Massachusetts. Quick update on the QR code for difference maker. 24% say offense, 31% say defense, 45% of you are on the special teams train. Second down. Benefield, Gonzalez, and it's tipped away. Tyrell Pearson got a hand in there to knock it away. Little pressure right up the middle. Very nicely thrown football. Had a chance. Great coverage. The snake pick coming to life on third and goal. I can feel it shaking. <laughs> Just the atmosphere you want here in the United Bowl in a three-point game. 
Benefield has time, now takes off, darts up the middle and dives in for a touchdown. It is such a luxury to have. Pretty good pass rushes, force him to step up in the pocket. Able to tuck that ball, dive in the end zone, doesn't really take that big of a hit. But boy, to see the arm on this young man, Benefield, and then you see the legs and what a combination he has. Kevin Guy was worried about his ability to extend plays with the legs and none bigger than that play right there. Garrett Hartley, two for two on point afters, one for one on field goals today. Good snap, good hold, kick on the way, and it's right down the middle. Massachusetts with its largest lead of the game, up by 10. Benefield, the quarterback, takes matters in his own hands with the leg, six yards out, and Mass is up 10. Salt River Canyon here in beautiful Arizona, the site of our 2021 United Bowl between the Rattlers and the number two seed at Massachusetts Pirates. Hey, you're an Arizona native through and through. You spent some time in Dallas when you played with the Cowboys, but now you're back here in Arizona. And I gotta imagine living in a place as beautiful as this has to be awesome. You know what, it's a lot of fun. The thing like I told you in your last visit out here when you thought there were only scorpions and cactus <laughs> out here. Uh, the fact that yes, in the desert here, there are a lot of cactus and it gets hot, but you can take a drive two miles north of here in yeah. the winter time and ski. You can golf in the morning, ski in the afternoon. There's a lot of different terrains. It's a beautiful state. Hey, I've been down here for a total of about three weeks, maybe four weeks this summer, and the thought of skiing and snow here just can't cross my mind because I don't know if I've seen it below 100 degrees yet in the month I've been here. When you were up in Prescott, it, it got a little bit that's cooler. True. That's true. Up in Prescott, it was in the 70s or 80s. Yeah. That, you got a good point there. No, we're pretty proud of our state. Today's United Bowl on Stadium is brought to you by Campbell Travel, official travel agency of the Indoor Football League. Jermaine Cars, the right car, the right price, the right way. And Parker University in pursuit of higher health. A big thank you to Parker University, Jermaine Cars, and Campbell Travel, our sponsors for the 2021 United Bowl here in Phoenix. I do want to point out real quick, too, Noah, the fact that if you look at the clock, that drive by the Pirates took up over half the third quarter. I mean, I, I don't know, again, if you're the coaching staff, Massachusetts, if you could draw it up any better than that. Almost nine minutes taken off the clock. That's a return for Pearson out to the 12 yard line. It's now your opportunity to vote in fan of the game. We have three fans for you to vote on. So once you've made your choice, go to at stadium on Twitter and vote for your favorites. There's fans number one. I love the football hat. They're getting into it. Fan number two with a get up like that. Come mm. on, look at that. Mm. The snake, the mm. rattlesnake cane dressed up in the mask, the hat, and get a little boogie with it, fan number three. All right, I see you. Can you dance like that, Dale? Uh, that's about as hard as I can go right there. I still <laughs> might strain something. That's the fan of the game. Make sure to go to at stadium on Twitter and vo vote for your choice of three fans. Powell, deep ball. He's got Miles at the 10, and he struts in for a touchdown.
An immediate response for Arizona after Massachusetts took almost nine minutes off the clock on the opening drive. The Rattlers need just one play to get it all. Well, that's what they've kind of become accustomed to a little bit is the fact that they score in bunches and they usually score quickly. So to come out your first play of the second half after you watched your defense uh, struggle a little bit in that first drive to throw a touchdown pass, even though it was a little underthrown, it still worked out really nice for Arizona. 38 yards on the connection from Powell to Miles. Mm. And the point after is good from Lacayo. Powell with a touchdown pass to Jamal Miles, and Arizona's back within three here in the third. Downtown Phoenix, Arizona on a beautiful Sunday afternoon for the 2021 United Bowl on Stadium. And what a great game we've got right in front of us. A 24-21 lead for number two Massachusetts over number one Arizona. Almost nine minutes off the clock for the first Massachusetts drive of this third quarter, Dale. Arizona responded with less than a minute. It only took one play to go the distance. Yeah, and you wonder which is better. I, uh, you you <laughs> kind of know how each team wants to play. They want to be physically dominant up front. So I believe the Pirates like the way they scored better than the way the Rattlers scored. But guess what? They both scout count for seven points. I was just going to say, Massachusetts <laughs> probably loves the way they scored, and Arizona probably loves the way they scored. Exactly. Kevin Guy told us he wanted to make this a track meet, if at all possible, today. Tempo has definitely been in favor of Massachusetts. Here's an onside kick, and it looks like it's recovered by Massachusetts, and it is at the 11-yard line. Van Trell McMillan, the rookie out of UT Chattanooga, balls on the football and gives Massachusetts amazing starting field position at the plus 11. Really nice onside kick, way to be aware. So many times that front line is turning and, and running and there's really nothing that told you it was gonna be an onside kick, but the Pirates very well coached, stayed in there till the ball was kicked, able to get on it and now again have really good field position. Kevin Guy said his team would be very aggressive today. Wouldn't hold anything back here in the championship game. Five to go, third quarter. Massachusetts ball at the 11 with a three-point lead. Stockton hesitates, now spins away. Williams almost brought him down. Now he cuts it outside to the edge and finally shoved out at the three-yard line. Somehow Stockton made a play go from what could have been negative yardage to picking up eight. My goodness, what a run. I think, again, I bet you all nine Rattlers had a chance to tackle him. And eight of them missed him. <laughs> again, finally, Devonso was the last man standing to keep him out of the end zone. What an absolute great effort by Justin Stockton, 5'10", 200 pounds. A rookie out of Texas Tech. Had a great career with Texas Tech. Two-time All-Big 12 selection. Ran for almost 1,000 yards in his senior season. Second down and two. Benefield dives, and he's down to the one-yard line. He's right at the marker. We're going to give him the first down. Just so difficult to defend this offense. You run 
Stockton across the formation. Do you fake the handoff to him? Do you chase after him? Do you stay home? You got a great running threat and quarterback and Alejandro Benefield. Nice job by the Rattlers keeping out of the end zone. Benefield, six carries, 33 yards, and a rushing touchdown. A guy who's more known for the arm, but has done it with the legs today. First and goal from the one here for the Pirates. Stockton tries to make a man miss, but he can't, and Ricky Wyatt Jr. pulls him down for a three-yard loss. Really nice awareness by the Rattlers. A lot of guys can get out there, get their body on the outside, but can't make the tackle. Ricky Wyatt Jr. able to do both. Ricky Wyatt Jr. was a part of this Rattlers team in 2019. He got hurt in the United Bowl, the game they lost against Sioux Falls. And now he's looking for revenge. Kevin Guy and the Rattlers trying to win their seventh national championship as a franchise. Benefield looks to throw this time, whips it to Owens. There's no signal yet. There is a flag. Owens wants his 28th touchdown of the season. But we'll see what the officials have to say first. Ball I don't think ever crossed the goal line. Yeah, I don't think so either. You know, I think people are expecting a Touchdown signal. See if we can see it here. You can see he's got a foot in right there, but I'm not sure the it's ball not, ever gets there. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you have both feet in the end zone. Yep. If the ball doesn't cross the plane of the Pass interference. Offense. Number six. Ten yard penalty. Replay second down. Well, it doesn't matter if he was in or not, because Laquiviante Gonzalez gets called for pass interference off the ball. And that backs Arizona way up to the 14-yard line. You talk about catching a break. There's one of the Rattlers on the verge of giving up another touchdown. Catch a break. Let's see if the Pirates can overcome a questionable call at best. Tyrell Pearson has the fans to their feet here inside the snake pit. Second down and goal. Benefield has thrown a touchdown, but also two picks today. Stepping up, now takes off, spins from one, and he gets taken down at the nine yard line. Josh Gordon, the third year pro out of Division II, Minnesota State Mankato with the tackle. We'll give a big assist to Boogie Roberts right in the middle, 310 pounds. Doesn't get the tackle, but definitely slows him down. I'm sorry, that might be Craig Evans who uh, hooked him with his arm, slowed him down a little bit, and Craig Evans just goes 6'3", 320 pounds. Keep in mind, Massachusetts had first and goal at the one. It's now third and goal at the 10. Would be a massive stop for Arizona if they can get one here. Benefield with a lot of time. And it's incomplete. He was looking for Owens, but DJ Williams has the coverage. Fourth and goal. Really good coverage downfield, but I think if you're a Pirate fan, you could say, eh, there's some contact there. Don't know even without the contact that the ball was catchable. But obviously, Gonzalez said I would have caught the ball <laughs> if he wasn't draped all over me. Final 30 seconds here in the third quarter. Field goal unit is on. Garrett Hartley has hit from 30 yards already today. This one is from 25. And it's good. Well, it could have been a lot worse. First and goal at the one for Massachusetts, yet Arizona holds them to three. And it's a six point lead for the Pirates nearing the end of three here at the United Bowl. Do you want a career in healthcare without direct patient contact? 
Parker University's College of Business and Technology can do just that by letting you work in patient care in the office or behind the scenes. We offer degrees in business, information technology, health information management, healthcare cybersecurity, and more. Already have a bachelor's? Check out our Master of Business Administration with four concentrations to choose from. Learn more at parker.edu. That's parker.edu. Back inside the Footprint Center in downtown Phoenix, Arizona, a six-point lead for Massachusetts on the road against Arizona. The Pirates get three points there, Dale, but they had first and goal from the one. Arizona stops them, forces the field goal. That's got to be a win for the Rattlers, right? It's, it's got to be a win for the Rattlers, and sometimes that can de be deflating for the team that gets backed up and has to settle for a field goal and we'll give a, 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 an infusion of, of energy to the team that stops them. We'll see how both teams respond to that, but that could be a really important moment in this football game. Yeah, an offensive pass interference against Massachusetts backed them up to the 15 and could never recover. Here's Pearson from six yards deep. He lost the football, and he fell on top of it, and now he's wrestling with it with Maxi Penton. In danger of the third Rattlers turnover of the day today. A team that takes care of it so well. Nice kickoff, nice and deep and high. And boy, you just don't see that happen very often. Nice job being aware and jumping on the football as the clock continues to run and bring us to the end of the third quarter. Rattlers will have the ball first down. 15 minutes left to decide who our 2021 United Bowl champion is. Massachusetts up by six, heading to the fourth. Phoenix, Arizona on a gorgeous Sunday afternoon to determine the 2021 United Bowl champion. So excited to crown an IFL champion here in Phoenix. The number one team all season long. The Rattlers down by six to number two, Massachusetts. As we head to the fourth quarter, we send it down to Julie Doles. Let's hear it for the Arizona Rattlers. League MVP quarterback Drew Powell has broken the record for rushing touchdowns this season with 35. It was a nine-year record that he broke. I mean, when you think Drew Powell, you think of the running game. But running hasn't always been his specialty. I was talking to Drew yesterday, and he explained to me that in his four years with the IFL, he feels as though as the league has grown, so has he. In college, running wasn't what he was known for. He explained to me that playing the indoor game is almost like playing one-on-one -on -one for him. He told me, if I can beat the guy across from me, I know I'm scoring a touchdown. He's clearly adjusted well to the indoor game. Back to you, Noah. Thank you, Julie. Isn't that pretty crazy to think about? I just know Drew Powell the last couple of years, and I think runner, and I think great runner, but the fact that he started his career as more of a passing guy is pretty crazy. Well, I, I still remember uh, the people talking about Michael Jordan and that the only guy who could hold him under 20 points was Dean Smith by not allowing him to be Michael Jordan. <laughs> nice to see the finished product of Drew Powell. Powell completes the first pass of the fourth quarter out to Jamal Miles, who's been his favorite target today. Six catches for Miles, that goes for 16 yards and a first down. Touched on a little bit in the first half, Jared Harrington, the all-league wide receiver for the Arizona Rattlers. Uh, hurt himself last week, didn't hurt himself, got hurt, and uh, was not available to play today. Who was going to step up? Jamal Miles, the Wiley veteran, 
has really been there all afternoon for Drew, Drew Powell. Yeah, Jamal Miles a veteran, but after that they had three rookies in that wide receiver core, so not surprising to see Miles go there. Here's one of the rookies in Haley. He squeezes his way through two defenders down to the 20 for 10 yards. Harlan Miller is in on the tackle for Massachusetts. Nice route, just turned it around at the first down marker, fought forward for a yard or two, good protection. Nice confident throw by Drew Powell. You can see him stepping in to that throw because there was no pressure in the middle of the football field, able to complete the pass. Haley had probably the best catch we've seen today. He went up one-on-one -on -one for a jump ball, caught it through a defender and a touchdown in the first half. Powell after two throwing plays, lowers the shoulder, takes off, turns the feet and gets five yards. My goodness. It looked like there's going to be a gigantic hole, and then it closed up with white jerseys. Watch this. Looks, oh, is there? Oh, no, it's not. There's three white jerseys. Lowers his shoulder, fights, and scratches and claws for five yards. You're not going to see many quarterbacks lower their shoulder like that to continue to gain yards. Powell, the only quarterback in IFL history to rush for more than 1,000 yards. He's been held to just 28 today by this stingy defense of Massachusetts. Five yards to go. Powell can't get away, and he's sacked. Deshaun Downey and Toby Johnson combined for the play to make it third and long. Toby Johnson, the coaching staff, talked to, just raved about how good number 91 is for this Pirate defense, it's basically unblockable. Every center that's gone against him has really, really struggled. He's 6'4", 325 pounds, went to Georgia, and uh, one of those first team all indoor football league defensive linemen, really a load right in the middle of that defensive line. Yeah, his defensive coordinator, Rashawn Kaiser, says he's the best nose guard in the IFL and makes it really difficult for teams to be able to run against them. That time he gets in the backfield, has the sack, and it's third down and seven now for Arizona. Down by six. And a false start will back up the Rattlers. And now third and 12 upcoming. Everybody pointing at everybody. <laughs> <laughs> false start. Offense, number 21. Five yard penalty. Still third down. So that goes against Timmy Hernandez. He was a new addition to the active roster. He is the replacement for Jared Harrington, the first team all league wide receiver who's missing this week. It's almost better if you're just blatantly off sides because then everybody knows <laughs> instead of was it you, was it you? How, how could you call that on me as you see big Toby Johnson in the middle of that defensive line and uh, Coach Guy raved about how difficult he made it on centers the last few weeks just to snap the ball. Need 12 yards. Powell with a lot of time unleashes deep to the corner, but it's incomplete and a flag after the play flies in. Well, this is going to be one of those, is it going to be after the play? And if it is, who made a mistake? Because if you're the Pirates, you're going to force a third fourth down and long with the incomplete pass. And if you're the Rattlers, really going to back you up. Illegal defense. Defense, number 24, illegal blitz. Five-yard penalty, automatic first down. That's Martrell Spate, the second team all-league linebacker out of Arkansas. Really punitive penalty, you know, it's the, the five yards you can live with, uh, but it's the automatic first down that really makes you struggle, as you can see. Trying to discuss it, it there's such a fine line that linebacker cannot be moving forward. It looks like they're going to try and challenge it. This is a challenge, the ruling on the field of an illegal twist. The play is under further review. Rayshon Kaiser, the defensive coordinator, was quick to throw that flag and see if there was or wasn't an illegal twist against his defense. Well, I don't know how there's going to be a legal twist yeah. called because they dropped 
Kobe Johnson actually dropped off the line of scrimmage, and they only rushed two. So I'm not exactly sure how that could be ruled an illegal twist. It's just an unusual defense. You see the defensive end on the near side dropping into coverage. Kobe Johnson doesn't rush the passer. The only guy that does is Deshaun Downey and then Martrell Spate, who you see 24 there rushing in on the right side of your screen. I'm not so sure this might not be overturned. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Now, my batting average is pretty over, good today. Uh, well, today, but <laughs> overall, I'm below the Mendoza line. You haven't missed one today, which just tells me that you show up in the big moments. <laughs> Well, this one's taking him a little bit longer yeah. than the first replay that we saw. First replay, it took him one look, and they were able to confirm the play. This one we'll see. After further review, ruling on the field is confirmed. Illegal defense, defense number 24. Five-yard penalty, automatic first down. Massachusetts is charged with their first timeout and has no challenges remaining. Well, Dale, I think that's a strikeout looking for us. <laughs> well, if they're calling it an illegal twist, don't you have to twist right, with that, somebody? That, that's what, there was no twist there. No. A legal defense is a different story, but when they went there, they said they were challenging a legal twist. And I think that's probably what Ray Sean Kaiser's saying right now. So I only rushed two. Yeah. I, I, who could they have twisted with? Well, watch this. So the defensive end drops off. No stackle drops off. There's only Downey and Spate. That's it. And who are they twisting with? Well, Arizona's the beneficiary, the automatic first down. Powell hesitates and then drags the defender down to the 12-yard line. J.D. Griggs makes the tackle, but five yards for Powell. Really nice read on his part. He faked the fly sweep, and then he it was his job to read where Spate was coming. Spate came to the right, Powell went to the left, able to pick up five yards. You think this fourth quarter, the ball's going to be in the hands of Powell a lot more, and there's going to be a lot more running plays than we've seen? I don't, you know what? It's going to be fascinating because Kevin Guy, is, the Kevin Guy that I know, is not one to play it safe. Yeah. He's, he's a guy that usually is going to be more along the lines of a Bruce Arians, no brisket, no biscuit. Three total touchdowns for Powell. He drops it off to Miles, who lowers the shoulder down to the three yard line, and it's a first down on Miles' eighth catch today. Really nicely devised play. Fake the pitch out to the left. Miles comes across the middle of the field, going the other way, dropping into him. Another first down. And let's not lose sight of two things. The Pirates have no more challenges left. Right. And they lost another timeout. And this is the first of the second half. But they, they lost one in the first half, too. It's only two timeouts remaining for Massachusetts. Jamal Miles goes over 100 yards receiving with that catch. Now Powell keeps it, runs off to the right side, spins in for a touchdown. Arizona is an extra point away from taking their first lead of the game with nine and a half to play. Well, obviously we've talked a lot about Drew Powell, but we'd be remiss if we did not mention Steve Garola, the center. We didn't talk about Jahair Jones, the guard, and also Lamar Mady, the all-league left guard for Arizona, playing on the left side, getting some movement, knocking the white jerseys off the ball and allowing Powell to get into the end zone. Nakayo has missed an extra point today. High snap. Hernandez takes care of it, and then he pushed it wide left. The extra point attempt is no good. Wow. Tie game with 8.56 to play the missed extra point, but Powell, his fourth touchdown today, ties the game.
Phoenix, Arizona has treated us well here at the 2021 United Bowl. 27 to 27 between Massachusetts and Arizona with 8.56 to play. And Stryker, the mascot, is getting the fans here at the Snake Pit alive and well for the final nine minutes to play in the 2021 season. Noah Reed and three-time Super Bowl champion Dale Hellestray with you. Julie Dole's down on the sidelines. What a game we've had and what a game you could only ask for in the United Bowl. Both teams seem to settle down a little bit. The first half was really herky-jerky, sloppy a little bit, and mistakes made, and, and both teams here in the second half playing better. You're seeing the offense is starting to click a little bit more. The only thing that uh, the Arizona Rattlers are going to wonder about is what happened to their kicker. Ernesto Lacayo, an all-league kicker, has missed two extra points today including one just moments ago that would have given the Rattlers their first lead of the game. Instead, we're tied 27 apiece. Here's Gonzalez, one of the most dangerous return men in the league from four yards into the end zone. Squeaks past a defender, carries one with him, then sheds him, and Hernandez finally wraps him up, but not until he gets across midfield to set up Massachusetts with great starting field position. I think three Rattlers had a chance at him trying to swipe the ball loose. Watch how many of these players had a chance starting right here. Instead of trying to knock the ball loose, you got to get them on the ground. Really nice effort by this kickoff return team and great starting field position, as you had said. Pearson and Haley both had a chance before Hernandez was able to make the play. Benefield just 9 of 20 tonight has thrown a pair of interceptions. Both of those came back in the first half. But he has a chance to lead his team with eight minutes to go to the first championship in franchise history. Benefield pumps once, now side arms and just gets rid of the football. I've been impressed with that, Dale. It's not flashy, right? No one wants to throw the football away, but a young quarterback is just making the decision to get rid of the football. He did a nice job. And, and again, another. I'd love to see the unsung guys. There, there's no uh, column in the stat sheet for it, but Gordon, defensive end. There's no foul for illegal defense. Second down. Josh Gordon, the defensive end for the Rattlers, kept contained so many times the defensive end you're going to come inside, try to get the quarterback. He stayed out there and made Benefield make that decision. And then Benefield saw no receiver open through the ball out of bounds. Let's live to see second down. Benefield has done a lot more on the ground today than you usually see him. Seven carries, 38 yards for the second year pro out of UT Chattanooga. Took over the starting role from Sean Brackett, who was an MVP of the NAL two years ago. Benefield flushed out, now takes off, straight up the middle, inside the five and wrapped up at the three yard line. Devin Cockrell with a touchdown saving tackle, but 20 yards for Benefield to set up first and goal. Benefield says, Drew Powell, I see you and I'll do you one better. <laughs> Makes a couple guys miss, almost gets to the end zone, but it parted like the Red Sea in the middle of the field and he took off. What a nice job. There's no hesitation. He tucked the ball, almost got into the end zone. 58 yards now on the ground for Benefield. Two total touchdowns for the quarterback and a chance to put his team back in front with under seven to play in the title game. Just the third year in existence for Massachusetts, the first ever year in the title game and a chance to win it. Benefield follows a block, plunges in to give Massachusetts the lead. Nice job by the left side of that offensive line, number 64, Jordan McCray. Kind of led the way over there at left guard. Played seven seasons and one league or another, NFL, XFL, AFL, IFL, loves to play the game of football. Hartley, perfect today, and he continues that with a point after. 
It's a touchdown lead for Massachusetts with 5.51 to play. Benefield surges in from two yards out. Campbell Travel is proud to serve as the official travel agency partner of the Indoor Football League. With more than 35 years of experience combining high-touch service with industry-leading technology, Dallas-based Campbell Travel offers workforce lodging, business travel, and leisure travel services to IFL fans everywhere. For more information on how Campbell Travel can take care of your travel needs, visit CampbellTravel.com. Back inside the Footprint Center in Phoenix, Arizona, winding down the 2021 season in what has been a thriller here in the United Bowl with 5.51 to play. Alejandro Benefield with his third total touchdown of the day to give Arizona, the, or rather Massachusetts, the lead back 34-27. Every time Massachusetts has jumped out in front, and here's another look at the two-yard touchdown run, Arizona has had an answer today, Dale. Both teams have had an answer, and that's the sign of championship pedigree. The one thing you have to say about both these teams, well coached, they're hard nosed, they're not gonna blink, and uh, they're gonna play hard through the end of the game and through adversity. There's so many teams you see, they get hit with some adversity and they just kind of wilt under the pressure. Both these teams have answered each salvo that the other team has thrown at them. Kevin Guy, four-time coach of the year, including the coach of the year this year in the IFL. And then the only coach that wasn't a head coach to receive votes for coach of the year was Massachusetts defensive coordinator, Rayshon Kaiser. That says a lot. When the coach of the year and you're a defensive coordinator and getting some votes in the league, that's impressive. I think that's the kind of defense that this team has played. Well, what's going to be fascinating to me and I have, as I'm trying to look ahead here, five minutes, 51 seconds left. If Arizona scores a touchdown, if they do, do you send your kicker out there again? Oh. Do you send your kicker out there again? It'll be fascinating to see if, in fact, they do get back into the end zone. Miles ripped down. Ahmad Dixon makes the play at the eight-yard line. Great kickoff coverage from the Pirates. That's a good point, though, Dale, because two missed extra points and one missed field goal today for Lakayo, who's been one of the most reliable kickers in the league this season. It just isn't like him to have the kind of day that he's had today. It's not, and you, uh, Kevin Guy, and the coaches know their kickers better than anybody. Is he shaking up? But can he respond to adversity? It'd be, be fun to watch if the Rattlers can find a way to get in the end zone. But starting backed up, bad field position because a great special teams play by the Pirates. Here's Powell, four total touchdowns today. Tries to spin away from Downey, picks up a few extra yards before Spate comes wrecking in there. And two yards on the ground for Powell. Really nice job by Deshaun Downey. We talked about him in the first half, 6'4", 225 pounds. Stopped his pass rush. Looked like there was going to be a gaping hole right there. He stopped his pass rush, was kind of waiting for Powell to run the football, and he's athletic enough to chase him down. Really nice instinctual play there by Downey. 136 through the air for Powell, 38 on the grounds, and four touchdowns. The MVP of the league again finds a hole, takes a hit from Spate at the 20. It's a first down, but Mark Trell Spate made him pay for it. Uh, we see Drew Powell jogging off to the sidelines, and boy, oh boy, that was an absolute collision. I think if this collision would have happened in, uh, in college football, Spate oh. would probably be ejected and missed next week, too. A little bit lowering of the crown, but just a tremendous play on both sides. You see Pal here fighting for extra yards. It's oh the last goodness. four minutes of the United Bowl. He can do anything he can do to help your team win a football game. What a hit from Spate. Powell stays in the game, though. He's got a clean pocket, fakes once. Now he finally decides to take off, and he gets leveled again, this time by Toby Johnson. And a flag oh, way late. Well, and they, again, Toby Johnson just made an unbelievable play. 6'4", 325 pounds, and then I think he ended up talking a little too much 
to Drew Powell after the play. It was a worthy play. Watch 91 about the 24 yard line in the open field. After the play is over, on Sportsline Conduct, defense number 91, his first of the game. Half the distance of the goal, automatic first down. You heard that, that's another first credit. Again, a tremendous play, poor decision. After you've got emotions, you've got everything going on. We're down to three minutes and 40 seconds left for the championship. You just can't make post-snap penalties. Something that this Massachusetts defense hasn't done very often this season. Rayshon Kaiser's defense has held opponents to just 19 points per game over the last four weeks, including three of those four opponents not even getting to 20. It's first and 10 from the 14 here for Powell. Powell again has to escape, tries to slip past a tackle, and picks up maybe a yard or two. Martrell Spate, who made the crushing hit just a little bit ago, makes the tackle and a short gain for Powell. It is so fun to watch number 24, Martrell Spate, play football. Loves the game, flying all over the football field. He can drop back into coverage. We've seen how physical he can be. Kind of the leader of this defense. Boy, if you want to watch a football player, watch 24 for Massachusetts. He was a first-team All-SEC selection from Arkansas where he led the SEC in tackles his senior year. Powell right through the hands of Miles, and then a blowing hit from Khalid Wooten after it slipped through the hands of Jamal Miles, and Miles is not happy right now having some words with the official. Well, I, 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 believe it or not, I used to play tight end in high school. And my dad always said, you might as well hang on to the football because you're going to get hit. <laughs> either it's way. Gonna, it's going to hurt. You're going to get hit either way. Might as well hang on to the football. Hey, I love the aggressiveness of Wooten there. He doesn't know if that ball's coming loose or not. That's Make the first drop today for Miles. He's got eight catches and 104 yards. But it's third and eight here from the 12-yard line with under two minutes to play in the United Bowl. Powell snaps it over the middle. He was looking for Pelletier, but he left it short, and it's fourth down. The best third down defense in the league gets another stop. Well, it's fourth down. Remember now, we're coming down to the one-minute warning. Now, you just wonder that hit from Spate on Powell as it affected his arm strength. And usually you see Powell stepping into that football and able to deliver a strike. That one was significantly shorter than it had to be. Fourth down and eight. Fans to their feet here inside the footprint center. Need to get to the four for a first down. Powell rolling left, fires, and it's over the head of Lassane. It's incomplete, and the Pirates get a stop with 58 seconds left to play. A beautiful stop by Massachusetts with under a minute to play on fourth down. We'll be back with the final 58 seconds when we return Massachusetts up a touchdown with the football when we come back.
back inside the footprint center here in Phoenix, Arizona with 58 seconds left to play. Massachusetts with a touchdown lead and the football after getting a stop on fourth down against Arizona. It's now time to reveal our fan of the game and the winner of our fan of the game contest today is fan number two. He's got the rattlesnake cane decked out in all black with the mask, the hat. He came to cheer on his Rattlers today. There, there are a lot of people who get serious about the Arizona Rattlers. Tremendous costume, uh, a worthy, worthy victor in the costume fan of the game contest. 44% of the vote goes to fan number two, and he's the winner of our fan of the game here today. Something to, to remember in the indoor game here, Dale, is that if Massachusetts doesn't pick up positive yardage here in the final minute, the clock stops. So they have to be able to pick up at least one yard or else Arizona doesn't have to call a timeout to stop the clock. Stockton's going to get a whole lot more than one yard, though. A first down all the way inside the 20, a big run for the rookie. Rattler's defense sells out, thought that they had Benefield tackled in the Backfield, hand the ball off. Stockton streaking down the sideline. The only thing that happened good for the Rattlers is they hit the dasher board and the clock stops. Incomplete passes, you hit the dasher board or a timeout. The Rattlers have all three timeouts left. And not picking up positive yardage. So a few ways for Arizona to be able to stop the clock here in the final 51 seconds. The biggest run of the game today for Justin Stockton. That goes for 20 yards. And Massachusetts with the football up by a touchdown inside the 20. Chance to win the first title in franchise history. Stockton hops outside, bounces to the edge, has the first down at the five-yard line, and then a pair of flags come in. Yeah, I think you're going to get holding downfield. One of those penalties you just don't get mad at if you're a coach because you got wide receivers downfield blocking for their buddy. You're going to see it right there. I believe that holding call was on DJ Williams uh, being held for the Rattlers. But boy, those are hard to get mad at because your wide receivers are blocking. Holding. Offense, number seven. Ten yard penalty. Repeat first down. Fuck, we'll start on the snap. So Darren Carrington, the wide receiver, called for the holding. You can see that right at the top of your screen there, number seven in white, holding DJ Williams. Fighting for his buddy, he can't get mad at that. But boy, how about Justin Stockton on the last two runs? The Rattlers had him wrapped up, had plenty of jerseys around him, finds a way out of there and gains big yards on both runs. The clock will not start until the snap of the football. So that's a good sign for Arizona after the penalty. First and 20. Benefield the to toss to Stockton. Has a gap, accelerates through, and a shoestring tackle from Cockrell at the 19. He got almost all of the penalty yardage back. Look at this hole open. Nice job by that. Offensive line. Please reset the game clock to 39 seconds. 39 seconds. So it's timeout Arizona. They put an extra second on the clock here, up ahead of a second and 11. Nice job by the left side of that offensive line. Jared Thomas, 6'3", 300 pounds. Went to Northwestern. He was all Big Ten. Tremendous job just opening that hole. And then the burst. That Justin Stockton has almost seems like he's moving quicker here in the fourth quarter than he was in the first quarter. Yeah, he's trying to wrap this game up and give Massachusetts the United Bowl title in their first year in the IFL. They're just in their third year total as an organization. They spent 2018 and 2019 in the NAL, and now here in 2021, the first season in the IFL, and they are 39 seconds away from winning the United Bowl. Arizona hasn't won one at home since 1997. 
Stockton one more time. Devonzo wraps him up and he can't get to the outside. Loses a couple yards on the play. Nick Devonzo with some great chase down speed. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, for 285, 290 pound defense. Massachusetts did not gain positive yards on the play. By rule, the clock stops. Please reset the game clock to 34 seconds. 34 seconds. The clock will start on the snap. And the Rattlers don't have to use that timeout right. that they use, so now they still have two. Two left, you had pointed that out. You gotta get back, you gotta gain positive yards and Boy, you, you, I just talked a little bit about Devonzo. 6'3", 285 pounds, and to cover that much ground that quickly, just absolutely tremendous. I, I would be surprised if you don't hear about him being on an NFL roster. Yeah. He spent part of the 2017 season with the Minnesota Vikings, so he's experienced that a little bit. Come on, so third down and 14 with the ball at the 21 yard line. Do you have the guts to throw a pass? We're about to find <laughs> out. The answer is yes. Benefield has stocked him, but it slipped through his hands. Incomplete. Wow. Wow, I love the play call. I love the play call, has a chance. Ball was thrown a little bit behind Stockton. Would have been a tremendous catch, but I absolutely love the guts of the call. So Garrett Hartley is on to attempt a field goal that would give Massachusetts a two possession lead with 29 seconds to go. Set an NFL record for the most made field goals to start a career, 16 in a row. This one's from 36. He's hit from 25 and 30 today. Good snap, good hold, and it's blocked! A scramble for the football. Arizona's got it. Devonzo, touchdown! I think they're gonna say he touched the dasher board about the three yard line. I. I I think it's what it's looking like. My goodness gracious. Get a big paw up. And then watch Devonzo pick the ball up. He wanted to pitch it to <laughs> he somebody. Was. He's like, here, you take it. Well, okay, no, I'll go with it. Couldn't quite tell who got his hand on the ball. I, it was either Josh Gordon or Craig Evans, 95 or 90, or one of the two. And they are saying he was pushed out at the three. There was never an announcement made, but the ball's at the three-yard line with 19 seconds to go. And the score on the scoreboard still reads 34-27. Um, these three yards, are, they're not going to be easy <laughs> no. yards. I promise you that. This, Stingy pirate defense. Wow, what a moment with 19 seconds to go. The MVP, Drew Powell, just needs three yards. Fakes the pass. Now throws an incomplete looking for Haley. No damage done, only three seconds off the clock. Oh, there, there's plenty of time. You just, again, the, the play wasn't there, as you said, smart. Hey, let's live to see second down. Don't try and force something in somewhere to turn the ball over. But again, we talked about this defense. I mean, pressure in his face, coverage downfield. There's a reason why so many of these guys are on the all-league team. Massachusetts and Arizona both had nine members on the all-league team, tied for most in the league. The next highest by any team was four. Second and goal from the three. Powell backpedaling, gets away from Spate, now takes off, lowers the shoulder, and he's in! What do you do? 
What do you do? Ernesto Lacayo has missed two extra points and a field goal today. A number of Rattlers players say, let's go for two, let's go for two. The fifth total touchdown on the night by the guy who was just named the MVP of the league 24 hours ago. You talk about determination. It looked like he was going to get run into the dasher board. Lowered that shoulder. He has taken a couple huge hits from this Pirate defense here in the fourth quarter. Here's Lacayo for the extra point. He's missed two today. Needs this one to tie it with 10 seconds to go. Here's the kick, and it's good. He's an all-league kicker for a reason. <laughs> he, he was looking for somebody to come give him five, and they all said, if you wouldn't have missed those earlier ones, we'd be done. 34-34 with 10 to play. Drew Powell, the MVP, with the three-yard touchdown. We got 10 seconds left in regulation. What a finish here inside the Footprint Center in Phoenix, Arizona. A blocked field goal attempt with 19 seconds to go gave Arizona the football back at the three yard line and two plays later, the MVP of the league, Drew Powell, rushes in from three yards out and then the all important extra point goes in as well to tie this game up at 34. Nothing comes easy against this Pirate defense. Wooten comes up to meet Powell. Powell lowers that shoulder, finds a way to get in the end zone. Remember now, 10 seconds is a lot of time. You can see, we've seen the way that this Pirate team can return the kickoff. LaQuiviante Gonzalez, second team all-league kickoff returner. He's got it from the three. Gonzalez hops out of the way of one, beats Pearson, and nearly gets to midfield before he's pushed into the boards by Lacayo, the kicker. With four seconds to go, the field goal unit is trotting on the field again. Boy, you talk about, we talked about special teams and how important they were before the game started. We've seen some extra points missed and field goals missed and great kickoff returns from this Massachusetts team. They give their kicker a legitimate opportunity to end this game, kicking this game winning field goal. Hartley has hit from 25 and 30 tonight. He just had a 36 yarder blocked moments ago. Timeout. Massachusetts, their second. <laughs> Today's United Bowl Championship is brought to you by Campbell Travel, the official travel agency of the Indoor Football League. Jermaine Cars, the right car, the right price, the right way, and Parker University in pursuit of higher health. A big thank you to Parker University, Jermaine Cars, and Campbell Travel, the sponsors of the 2021 United Bowl. Kevin Guy and the Arizona Rattlers with an improbable comeback in the final seconds. <laughs> but can they force overtime or will Garrett Hartley end the United Bowl on a walk-off field goal? It's interesting that that first timeout was called by Massachusetts. Don't know if you want to freeze your own kicker. This is a 42-yarder from Hartley. Josh Gable, the injured kicker, has had two walk-off field goals this season. Can Hartley do it to win the United Bowl? Here's the kick, and it's wide left. Overtime in Phoenix for the United Bowl. 60 minutes is not enough.
We will be right back with the start of overtime, tied at 34 at the end of regulation for the United Bull on Stadium. With 19 seconds to go, Massachusetts was up seven and had a chance to put this game away, but a blocked kick. Nick DeBonzo returned it to the three yard line and two plays later, Drew Powell punches it in from three yards out for his fifth touchdown of the day to tie the game with 10 seconds to go and send us to overtime. What a comeback by the Rattlers. And, and obviously both these teams are worthy of wearing a ring. <laughs> Uh, you, you couldn't ask for a better finish. You can talk about the overtime rules as a coin flip couldn't. Massachusetts has won the toss and elected to play defense. Arizona will have the ball at the 20 yard line this direction. So very similar to college football rules in overtime. There's no kickoff or anything like that. Each team gets a possession and Massachusetts winning the toss will send Kevin Guy's Arizona Rattlers offense onto the field first. Both teams get one possession with the football starting at the 20 yard line. And it's similar to College Dale in the aspect that if both teams score the same amount of points, well, we head to double overtime. Okay. Well, I, I have an eerie suspicion it's gonna come down to an extra point. An eerie feeling that it's gonna come down to an extra point. Maybe a two-point conversion, because after the first two overtimes, you have to go for two. I'm always fascinated. Which team has momentum right now? <laughs> I think we know the answer to that yeah, one, right? I mean, you got to think Arizona has, has the momentum. Down by seven with 19 seconds to go. A blocked field goal attempt that led to a touchdown two plays later. Massachusetts got the ball back with four seconds to go and a chance for another field goal. But Garrett Hartley missed it, and that's how we get to overtime. First play of the overtime period. Powell sprints ahead, lowers the shoulder into Miller, and keeps plowing forward for 11 yards and a first down. Well, I know who's going to need a nice, hot Epsom salts bath tonight <laughs> or tomorrow morning, and that's the quarterback, Drew Powell. He has taken a bunch of hits. He's got straps falling off, hanging down. As he's running, I think that's supposed to go to his shoulder pads, and people are trying to tackle that. You're not supposed to do that as a quarterback, <laughs> lower the shoulder like that. This guy is going all out to try to give his team a United Bowl championship. Two-time MVP of the IFL, an IFL champion, and trying to win his first in a Rattlers uniform. First and goal from the nine yard line after Powell picks up 11 on the first play. Here's Lassane, he hasn't had many touches today. He gets stacked up after two yards. Santos Ramirez is the lead tackler on the play after two yards from Lassane. Well, I think you know why. Most people understand you watch this game, you watch these two teams play, you see that defensive line just really hard to run on this pirate defense and so much of it stems from the middle of that defensive line Toby Johnson who just eats up blocks at 6'4 325 pounds and allows his teammates to run free to be able to make tackles
Drew Powell nearing 200 yards of total offense today, five touchdowns. Pitches it out to Pelletier, who has nowhere to go, and Ramirez makes the stop on two consecutive plays. Boy, Santos Ramirez, both sides of the field, number nine for the Pirates. As you said, went to Arkansas. Look at the ground that he can cover, 6'2", 207 pounds. Tremendous, tremendous ball play. Yeah, the rookie out of Arkansas, he's actually a part of the Arkansas all-decade defensive team from 2010 to 2019. Third-team All-SEC selection as a Razorback. Who, by the way, got a big win yesterday, welcoming Texas into the SEC. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's third down and goal from the eight. Here's Powell to throw for the first time in overtime. Flag flies in. Powell's got so much time. Now to the end zone, and two Rattlers collide, and it's incomplete. Flag, flag. Haley <laughs> and Pelletier both went up for it, and if there was only one of them there, they probably would have brought it in. Both got up in the air. It's got to be a defensive holding call. It's the exact same spot, two flags. Holding, defense, number 11. Half the distance of the goal, automatic first down. Arizona has had a couple of those bite them today, but they're the beneficiary of one here. An automatic first down on the defensive holding sets up first and goal now inside the four as the coach of the year in the league and the MVP of the league discuss what they want to draw up here from the four yard line. Anytime a quarterback can stand back there that long with the football, it's almost impossible to cover receivers without grabbing a hold of a little jersey here and there. I'm also surprised the offensive line didn't have a holding at some point, because that's a long time. Calm, cool, and collected. Five touchdowns today for Powell. He's the MVP of the league, but he said he would trade that in for a United Bull in a heartbeat. Was saying nowhere to go, and he stood up. Five white jerseys surround him for a tackle and a loss of one. Well, the guy who was in on that tackle is Toby Johnson, and he's down on the ground. I don't know if it's his knee. Oh. Loss of one play. Not the guy that you want to be shook up right now if you're the Massachusetts defense. He's been holding his left hamstring a little bit. I'm not so sure if he might not be cramping a little bit. Uh, played a lot of snaps. It is more physically taxing. I begrudgingly admit to play defense than it does to play offense. Uh, and he's covered a lot of ground and leaned on a lot of weight. Second down. Powell follows the block from Miles, lost the football. Massachusetts says they have it. And Maxi Pitton comes out of the pile with it. <laughs> My goodness gracious. Let's make sure he's down. Make sure he's not down. And I don't know. When does the ball come loose? Ah, it looks like it's right. loose right there. And he's not down. No. Fumble recovered by the defense for a touchback. Sideline warning given to the coaching staff of Massachusetts. <laughs> this is their first of two warnings. Well, that's because one of them was sprinting down the field <laughs> trying to celebrate. It's so unfortunate to see Drew Powell hang his head like that. The MVP of the league. Five touchdowns today, over 200 yards of total offense, but gives it away on the doorstep. Trying to fight through two tackles. Just given every ounce of energy that he has in his body this afternoon. <laughs> Rayshon <laughs> Kaiser, the defensive coordinator. Well, Rayshon Kaiser looks like he's still got a few snaps <laughs> left in him. Give me that defense! 
Third turnover today for Kevin Guy's team. They almost never give the football away. Massachusetts with a chance to win this game. Benefield finds Bird, cuts back towards the middle, and goes sliding down at the 13-yard line. Seven yards and a nice chunk play from Bird on the opening play of overtime for Massachusetts. And if you're watching at home and you haven't seen a whole lot of indoor football, remember the goalposts are really narrow in these arenas. And if you think, hey, the ball's on the 10, 11, 12 yard line, go ahead and kick a field goal and end it. A field goal is never a sure thing with the width of the goalpost, and you've already had one field goal attempt blocked. Yeah, Hartley had one blocked and then missed one at the end of regulation to win it. Benefield, nowhere to go. Cockrell meets him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of four. Boy, that plays almost like people who are old enough to remember the Oklahoma wishbone. It's a triple option play. You can, fake, you can hand it off to the fly sweep, hand it off to the running back, or keep it. And boy, that play has hurt Arizona earlier in the game. This time they bottled it up. They did a great job getting to Benefield, the quarterback. Third down and seven, ball at the 17. If they don't pick up any yards here, you're looking at roughly a 32, 33 yard field goal on fourth down if that's the route they elect to go. They got a chance to pick up some yardage here. Stockton can't find a hole, but he does drag Wyatt with him for maybe an extra yard or two to the 16. Awful, awful conservative on the Pirates' behalf with the play call in there. Now, they got a lot of confidence in their kicker. But I'm not so sure. He's not shaking a little bit from... So Hartley lines up at the 23, which makes this a 31-yard field goal. He hit his first two today from 25 and 30, respectively, has missed the next two. 31-yard field goal from Hartley to win the first championship in Massachusetts franchise history, and he's done it! And the field goal attempt is good. Final score in overtime, the Pirates 37, the Raptors 34. In just their third year in existence, the Massachusetts Pirates win their first championship in franchise history. And they do it with the right leg of Garrett Hartley from 31 yards out to win it in overtime. What great concentration. Snap was high. The holder got the ball down. There's a reason why they have so much confidence in their kicker. Nice. Pressure-packed kick. 37 to 34, the final. A lot of theatrics in the final moments of regulation and overtime, a blocked field goal with 19 seconds to go. Arizona was able to score with 10 to go to tie the game. Massachusetts had a field goal at the end of regulation to win it. Hartley missed it but he redeems himself in overtime with a 31-yarder after his defense got a fumble recovery at the goal line on Arizona's possession.
We'll step aside when we come back. Julie Doles will be on the sideline with some interviews and we'll take you through the trophy presentation. Garrett Hartley, 31 yards out, wins it in overtime for Massachusetts. I feel amazing, man. We got a great group of guys, and it was a hard-fought battle out here, man. And you know, credit to those guys, but you know, we finished out on top. It's your team's first year in the IFL. What does it mean to get a championship in this league? It feels amazing, man. Uh, Coach Jawar brought a great group of guys, and you know, it's been a vision from the beginning. You know, we got a great group of guys, and we just gotta lock in together and just go out there on one court. Early turnovers for both teams. How are you guys able to overcome that? Uh, just sticking together, getting back on the sideline, you know, communicating, uh, and just staying level-headed. Everybody was staying poised and uh, just picking each other up and just going from there, just playing play-by-play. Play. It was an electric atmosphere. You played your first two games at home in the championship. How did how'd you overcome that? Uh, man, it feels amazing having this uh, great crowd out here. Man, it just had a great atmosphere for a championship game, so it just made everything like the icing uh, cherry on top, right? So it was amazing. Well, congratulations on a great win. We'll be back after the break.
machine and get the car buying experience you deserve with Jermaine Cars. Buy online with home delivery if that's your style or visit our showrooms to speak with expert associates. However you want to buy your next car, Jermaine Cars is here for you. Whether in store, at home, or online, Jermaine Cars is here for you anytime. Discover our Jermaine to You program and research your next car, truck, or SUV on JermaineCars.com. From product demos to vehicle delivery, Jermaine to You allows you to shop at your own pace in your own space. Start your journey at JermaineCars.com today with buying tips and pricing insights on nearly 5,000 vehicles in stock. Jermaine Cars. Do you want a career in healthcare without direct patient contact? Parker University's College of Business and Technology can do just that by letting you work in patient care in the office or behind the scenes. We offer degrees in business, information technology, health information management, healthcare cybersecurity, and more. Already have a bachelor's? Check out our Master of Business Administration with four concentrations to choose from. Learn more at parker.edu. That's parker.edu. over the Arizona Rattlers, and now I turn it over to IFL Commissioner Todd Tryon as he delivers the MVP. You bet, well thank you. First of all, I wanna thank Arizona for being an unbelievable host. I mean, you guys do it first class. Mr. Ron Schertz, uh, you guys got an outstanding program. Kevin Guy, I mean, what a competitive uh, team you've put together, and, and what an exciting end to an unbelievable season. You know, all the IFL owners, our business division, uh, outstanding job on, on putting a first-class game on as we wrap up this 2021 season. And so first uh, award we want to give out is the MVP of the tw 2021 Unitable. It's Alejandro Benefield. Alejandro, first off, congratulations on a Unitable championship and the Unitable MVP. I gotta imagine, up by seven, less than 20 seconds to go in regulation, and you have Hartley out there, that you're certain that kick's gonna go in. It's blocked, Arizona scores, they go to overtime. What was the mindset in that huddle of this team in that moment? It just brought us closer together. I told the guys, believe, just believe, no matter what, no matter how ugly it gets, just keep on believing, and we're gonna keep making plays. We came out with the win. What was the thought process for you when you guys get the fumble recovery and you win that game on a last second MVP, field goal? MVP, 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 MVP. I mean, it was a tough call. It was a tough call. Our offensive coordinator drew up some good plays for us and we executed. We trusted our kicker and he, he nailed one for us. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Alejandro. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, I need Jawad, your team. Where's Jawad? Where's Jawad? Boss man! Yeah, boss man! Talk to him! Talk to him, boss man! Yeah! Jawad, first off, congratulations on the 2021 United Bowl Championship. This is your first year in the IFL. It's only the third year total in franchise history, and you won a championship in your third year. Take me through the process of how this team was started and how it ended three years later with already a championship. Uh, you know, just a lot of hard work. A lot of hard work, a lot of work that people don't see. You know, when you're up late at night till 4, 5, 6, 7 a.m., not sleeping, you know, just grinding, working, hoping, and, and thinking that it's going to pay off one day. You know, I just learned a great lesson in life that today, you know, hard work really does pay off. And, um, you know, it's just so great to see. I, I wouldn't want to do it with, with any other guys, man. Everybody that's with me right now is, is, is you know, that's the group that I wanted. You know, and we did it. And, um, you know, but at the same time, we knew how great we were. We knew what we had in the locker room. We're not surprised, but we're excited. But we're not surprised. Unbelievable finish there where, you know, with 20 seconds left in regulation, you're up with the football. Field goal block, Arizona scores, we go to overtime. What were your emotions like in that moment? 
Uh, it's just a roller coaster, you know, but at the same time, you're in the championship game and, and you're competing against a Hall of Fame owner, you're competing against a Hall of Fame coach, and you're competing against a Hall of Fame quarterback. And when you do that, you, you know, it, it's, gonna, it's not going to be easy. And it wasn't easy today, but we stuck in there. You know, we're a resilient group and we prepare hard and, it, you know, we, it paid off for us today. We're champions. What's next for the Massachusetts Pirates? You know, we just go back, we're going to enjoy the night, and we're going to get right back to work, you know? We're going to start preparing for 2022, and, and, and uh, you know where we're from. You know where we're from. You cannot be a loser where we're from. No, sir. So one isn't enough. We want two, we want more, because that's just what it is back in Boston, back at home, back in the 508, 617, Massachusetts Bay State. Yes, we're going to see you soon now. We're going to see you soon, ASD. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I, I need Rashawn Kaiser. Guys! Hey, guys! Is, is Rashawn Kaiser around? Hey, guys! Rashawn. Yeah. <laughs> Coach. Coach, congratulations on the 2021 United Bowl Championship coming on the road against an unbelievable franchise in Arizona. This defense led you all season long. How have they been able to do what they did this season? Man, it's, it's just a great group, special group of guys. A lot of credit go to Jawad for bringing in the talent. I just coach them up. They go out there and execute. That was a really good Arizona offense. They've been one of the best teams in the league all year long, average about 50 points per game, but defense is your specialty. You told me earlier this week when we talked on the phone, you had a game plan for Drew Powell, who's the MVP of this league. You didn't really want to dive in deep to it with me before the game, but I'm going to make you do it now. What was that game plan? Well, to stop the run, stop him from running, force him to pass the ball, make him one-dimensional. But actually, Arizona came out passing the ball, and they didn't run as much as we thought they was going to do. So. The, the game plan didn't change. The guys just stepped up. They made a lot of plays tonight. What was going through your mind in the final moments of regulation, up by a touchdown with the football, and then chaos breaks loose? Blocked field goal. Arizona scores. You go to overtime. They're on the doorstep of scoring, but your defense, again, comes up big with the fumble recovery, and then you get the game-winning field goal. Man, I thought my heart was about to drop out my chest. Um, a lot of emotions went on in that last final minute. Uh, when we got the ball back, I knew the game went over. They still had all three-day timeouts. They had a chance to get the ball back, so I was preparing my defense to go back out there. And we came up big in overtime. I mean, we was the number one D in the league for a reason. I counted on them to step up and make a play, and they did that. Congratulations, Coach. Enjoy this. Thank you, thank you. For everyone who joined us this week on Stadium, we thank you so much for being a part of our season, not just tonight here in the United Bowl, but all season long as a part of the IFL Game of the Week on Stadium. The Massachusetts Pirates in their first year in the IFL, third year ever in existence, win the United Bowl. A 37-34 win in overtime tonight over Arizona for our entire crew, led by Brent Borkus, our producer and director, for Dale Hellestray and Julie Doles, and the rest of our incredible stadium crew. I'm Noah Reed saying so long from Phoenix, where the Massachusetts Pirates are your 2021 United Bowl champions. We'll talk to you next year.